Hello, welcome to the course on the fundamentals of spectroscopy. I am Sayan Bakchi. I am a principal scientist in the physical and materials chemistry division of CSIR National Chemical Laboratory at Pune. Hello, I am Anirban Hazra. I am an associate professor at the Department of Chemistry at ISER Pune. This is an undergraduate level course on spectroscopy. However, we will study the different topics in great detail. So, this course will also be useful for advanced students interested in spectroscopy. Spectroscopy involves interaction of light with matter. And using this, we can obtain insights about matter. So, in spectroscopy, we have two things. One is light and the other is matter. In spectroscopy, light is generally described as a classical electromagnetic wave, while matter is described using quantum mechanics. Even if you are not familiar with quantum mechanics, I will introduce the relevant useful concepts of quantum mechanics from time to time, which will help you understand spectroscopy or light matter interaction in a rigorous way. Coming back to light, we can have different forms of spectroscopy depending on the frequency of the light interacting with the matter. In this course, we will study in depth about the underlying principles of these different forms of spectroscopy. These different forms of spectroscopy allow us to monitor different structural properties of matter. Moreover, the time scales associated with different spectroscopies provide information on molecular dynamics. Finally, spectroscopy can be used as an analytical tool for quantitative estimation of a substance. We will start this course with a general description of light matter interaction and discuss the concepts which are common in any kind of spectroscopy. These include selection rules, characteristics of a spectrum, broadening of a spectrum, time scales, etc. Then we will move on to study in detail about specific forms of spectroscopy like rotational spectroscopy, vibrational spectroscopy, Raman spectroscopy, electronic spectroscopy, NMR spectroscopy and ESR spectroscopy. In this course, the fundamental principles of the different forms of spectroscopy will be elaborated in a unified way from both theoretical and experimental viewpoints. The application of these principles will be helpful for understanding structural and dynamical aspects of a wide variety of systems in the fields of physics, chemistry and biology. Thus, this course will be relevant for students of all these branches of science. We hope this course will be a good fun learning experience for all of you. Welcome to the course.